run two from two and it seems like you're thriving. How's your start to life at Victory been? Yeah, well, I've been here a month now and I've loved every minute of it. I mean, since the day I came in, it's felt like a real a real family here and I think that's, uh, you know, reflected on the field and there's still so much we can improve on and I'm sure this week we're going to show that again leading into the, to the derby. Well, I know Victory been following you for quite a while, but obviously before you went to Europe, you were a Sydney FC boy. What was your reaction when you get the call and uh, Victory wants to sign you? Yeah, uh... I'll be honest, when I was a kid, I never even thought about coming to victory, obviously. There's that Sydney, Melbourne, you know, type of derby, but this was the best thing for my career. And, you know, I was reassured when I spoke to the boss and to the club and it was all good things. So now I'm here and I couldn't be happier. What was, what was the pitch? What made you so keen to come here? I think just a chance to play first team football. I think, you know, there's a... They had a harsh last year, is probably reality, and this year they really wanted to move forward and progress and show another brand of football, and I think that brand of football suits me, and I think, yeah, it's really what enticed me to come. How have you enjoyed playing with, with Ryan? He's a really experienced um, Yeah, great. I mean, he's helped me so much being in the midfield, giving me, you know, little details, little things to work on, but I mean, not just Ray, it's everyone on the team who's been, been able to do that. Yeah, well, I mean, last week the fans were amazing. I mean, there was, what, 15,000 or so. So, you know, I'm, I'm keen. I'm looking forward to this week as well. And we, obviously we've had a pre-season game where we unfortunately lost 1-0. So we're looking to, you know, turn the tables and win this week. You get pretty uh, spiteful even on the field. Each other. Do you thrive in that sort of environment? Where I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, at the end of the day, we all back our teammates, we all back our club, what we, who we play for. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to stay focused on what you're doing on the field, you know, and try not to get caught up in the emotions of it and just play. Pretty handy, sorry, Joe, some pretty handy young guys in Adelaide as well. We've seen Johnny Yule, you'll be coming up against in midfield. Nestor is obviously the, the kid everyone's talking about. Is it exciting? To yeah, of course. Play? I mean, it's exciting to play against, you know, great young players. But I'll be honest, I haven't thought much about Adelaide in terms of, you know, how they're going. I'm very focused on our team and myself and what I can do and what we can do as a team to get better and to win this game. What is the current vibe in the dressing room? Because obviously you play well, but there's also a lot of very well-credentialed boys that are currently sitting on the bench wanting to play first-team football. There's that competition there, which yeah. Tony wants to foster. Of What's that like on the track? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a competitive environment. I think every football team has this aspect to it. And I think when you have such a competitive environment, it just makes for a better team, a better training. And ultimately, it's what makes us better on the weekend where we can go out and win. But, you know, in the dressing room, everyone gets along with each other. It's... Great vibes at the moment. Are you relishing that? Obviously, you didn't play much first team football over there in Europe, but you're back here now. You're fighting for your place, but you're being rewarded for showing what you can do with first team minutes. You must love that. Yeah, I think just being able to come in, like I said before, being able to come in, have the chance to train and perform, and then you know ultimately get the reward of playing in the week and feels great. So I'm just grateful that I'm in this spot, and hopefully I can maintain it throughout the season. What's Tony like as a coach? Obviously, he's a former centre back. He places a lot of responsibility on the defensive side of things. What's he been like? No, the boss has been great. I mean, he's also helped me, you know, in terms of different aspects. Probably more defensively as well. As you said, he used to be a centre back in you know areas where I can improve, and that's ultimately it's going to make me a better footballer. It's going to make me better on the week, and you know, so that can hopefully help the team win games. Having guys like Bruno's started in stellar form. And Daniel Arzani was working on the weekend as well. Having those guys in the attack around and in front of you, how exciting is that? Yeah, I mean, I think, not just exciting for me, but I think it's exciting for everyone to watch. And, you know, you see Daniel and Nish down the lines, cut inside, cross it to Bruno, and then, you know, Bruno doing what he does, scoring four goals is, I mean, it's amazing. There's no other words for it. Uh, what's, what are your goals and plans for this season? Obviously, you're playing first-team football, you're in that Oli Roos setup. We're heading into a new World Cup cycle and we know that Graham Arnold has in the past really emphasised that Oli Roos to Soccer Roos connection. What do, you, what do you want to achieve this season? Yeah, well, I think on a club level, like I said, I want to maintain my spot in the team and, you know, want to win this league. I think we have a team this year that's incredible. We have a, players who have a lot of passion, a lot of quality that we can, you know, really take it and win this league. And then 
on an international level, obviously there's the Olympics coming up for the Oli Roos next year. But, but like you said, you know, there's been young A-League players who have been given a chance to play in uh, soccer Roos and I don't see why that's not in, not in the books for me to do. Feedback you've got in particular, Arnie's very close with doing that in Ollie Roos. What they said, what are you going to do? Do we see these guys step up? Yeah, I mean, no personal feedback, but in terms, I think it just comes down to how you play on the weekend. And, you know, at the end of the day, if you perform on the weekend, that's when you get the call up. So, just trying to do my best for the team and for myself. If you were to get to the, I'd like to ask this potential Ollie Roos, if you were to get the Olympics, would you get the Ollie Roos rings tattoo? <laughs> I mean, one thing at a time, hey? I mean, <laughs> let's get there first and then come back to me and it's another conversation, hey?